Hey there, how are you? Hello, superhero here. Yep, that's right. See that? I am super mom. My son is super calf. Some days I just feel like a superhero. I really do. And just riffing off of the last video, uh, you know, when people say, I don't know how you do it, sometimes I don't know how I do it. How did I do it? I don't know. Some days you're like, you get up and you get them off to school on time. You are able to order all the supplies that you need. Check. You're able to uh, coordinate, uh, you know, three clinic visits in one day for next week. Check. You're able to uh, sit down and actually go through some paperwork and complete the forms. Check. You know, uh, you're able to get the groceries, finish the laundry, and show up for your kids coming home. Check, check, check. Then on top of that, you've got the feeds, you've got somebody coming for respite, you're able to um, have a date night with your husband. It's like a glorious superhero day. All those things fall into place. And then there's the days that don't really feel so much like that. There's lots of X's where, you know, we're late for the bus and we can't get the supplies in. Oh, the medication is delayed or it's on hold because of a global issue or distribution. Things that you find out about you never knew like that. Oh, yet the feed that your child requires to sustain his life is no longer covered. Oh, you have to go and fill out 10 pieces of paper to get that done. Ah, oh, it's, these are the golden days where we get all those checks and we feel like superheroes. And then there's the days that are just crap. We can't get one or two things done in a way that feels successful um, to complete a day. Everybody comes out alive, that's good, by the end of the day, but the amount of energy that's available shrinks down to zero. Um, and, it, and there's nothing equal about it. There's, it's either really high, awesome days and really low sucking days. And it's quite nice when there's absolutely nothing happening in between and it's just steady. We're all for steady. I think one of the ways to have success in all of that is A, to be extremely compassionate, extremely compassionate with yourself as a primary caregiver. B or two um, is to make friends and invite them to help you. Like, build trusting circles of people who can either come over and listen to you cry or listen to you on the phone. Um, you know, you want to have friends that, you know, you can be in your pajamas. Hey, thank you, COVID-19. Be in your pajamas and they can come over and, you know, just listen, not during COVID-19 because you need some distancing, but they can still do that. Okay, so listen, I'm off track there. But the point is, you need people. You can't do it all by yourself. Every superhero in every book has a sidekick. And when they don't, they get into a really big problem and they are extremely depressed. So moral of this story, it's good to have a sidekick. It doesn't have to be um, intensive and heavy. It just has to be practicing asking. Ask me, how I'm doing. Ask me how you can help me show up and tell me what you can do for me. I need to know what you can do so I can assign you something to be done. And conversely, as the mom, the superhero that I've always been, it was a big piece of work. Learn how to make a list of things that I can give other people to do, like the laundry. I really don't care. You can have the laundry. Please get it done for me. Thank you very much. You know, I might want to fold it myself, but I appreciate you doing the rest of it. You know, like stuff like that. We all used to have family close by because we were farming and agriculture communities. Now we're just kind of like floating around in our own little pods. I think, you know, we're losing lots of benefit of being able to have some community and some connection. Reduce our isolation, bolster our superhero-ness, and allow us to carry everything forward. So for today, go forward, be a superhero, and do the best you can. Take care, be compassionate with yourself.